Hi there, Sandra here from Creating Spain. Today I am going to do a slider card, a single slider card today. I'm going to put a little bit of paint on my tile here and I've got a mix of glycerin and water. I'm just going to give that a bit of a spritz. Oh, I'm sorry, someone's doing DIY yet again. We've lived in this house for probably, I don't know, 12, 14 years, and I don't think there's been a single summer where we haven't had to put up with noise from people doing various DIY projects. And because houses and gardens here are largely tiled, tile cutting, ugh. So I'm going to give this a good base of colour. I don't want a completely solid colour. I want there to be traces of white in it, so that's fine. This bit here I also want to colour so that it's going to blend in. I'm not worrying about this bit because that's going to be covered over. Just to be clear, in case I said acrylic by mistake, this was gouache paint. Okay. And I habitually use it for colouring because I don't have a load of ink pads and I don't see the point of buying them. This piece here is pretty simple. I've actually got two pieces stuck together. I've got another piece of card here from here to here, just to give it a bit more stability, even though it's quite a thick card. But all this is, is a folded up so that these two meet and then you press down like that and then fold the edges. So this is going to go through that hole. Now you might notice, if you can see, there are some very peculiar looking drawing marks on here and I need to cut little bits away. Put a dab of colour on that with my finger. I have a stork. I've cut him out twice because this was cut from relatively thin card and again I want it to be quite strong. I don't want it to be bending and flexing and things so. so. Now the way I cut out this particular print was I just printed it and then I scanned it in on my machine and just got it to cut it out so I didn't have to do an actual printing cut. I made the cut line in shortcut slot but set it to print rather than to cut so it had a very solid line to go around like so and this bit opens up and then this is going to sit on top of it so this will be able to travel along here now the other thing you need to do is to make sure that this stays in line with the tab so it can go straight back and forwards. Cut a strip of card. I made it rounded ended. Did I have to do that? No. In the middle of here I'm going to put some glue and I'm going to put it near to the end and I think that will go just about there and stick that down and these pieces can be folded over glued in place so that it it's literally just a belt for it if you like. I decided to cut that cloud out slightly larger so it will cover this quite happily because I felt it was a little bit too much to expect this cloud to stay put without enough support. So I'm going to just give it a little bit of a tinge of grey. I've done that on my other clouds because clouds generally aren't pure white. I can put some more of my foam around. I'm using three layers of this because it's very very thin. Now the other thing I'm going to do is put a very tiny, tiny little piece of foam underneath the wing of the bird. I am not going to remove the backing paper, so the backing paper will stay there and there to keep that wing up. If I was going to do this again, I would be much more careful about where I put the clouds because that's caused me a little bit of aggravation 
And the other thing that I would do is do what I've done here and put a closer fitting belt around this. The one I had on there previously was just a bit too loose and allowed too much play. So it wants to be snug but not tight. And then it should be able to move things quite happily. So there we go. Hope you've enjoyed this video, even though I've got so much background noise. And I really do need to learn how to edit the noise out. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon. Take care now.